Hey guys, so yeah, uh, I messed up. So, uh, this vlog is me using film camera for the first time. Um, <clears throat> I use this, Ilford Sportsman, and um, I've never used film before, so I was really quite excited to do it. Uh, but, I messed up. Uh, basically what I did, is trying to unload the film as I twisted this I didn't hold the button in the bottom here so I snapped the film which meant that it didn't go back in the metal casing so uh, when I opened the back I exposed all the film oh no it was ruined so um, yeah, I had to go back out and uh, take some more shots. So all this footage you're about to see is me going out, taking some nice photos. Um, but you'll never see that film because I ruined it. So I had to go back out and take exact same shots again. That's better. Got me shades on. All right, let's go. my first time using a film camera, 35mm film. Uh, also this is the first time I'm vlogging with my Canon 550D so I'm sorry for that focus because I don't have autofocus on it so yeah I have to hope that I'm in focus. Uh, but yeah the film I'm using is uh, Pan F Ilford 50 which is a black and white film and uh, the 50 stands for its speed or IOS so it's quite a low IOS meaning it's not very good in low light but luckily it's a very beautiful sunny day today so hopefully we should get some nice shots brought my tripod as well if I have to uh, have the shutter speed quite quite high so uh, don't get any blur and stuff. Uh, but yeah, let's see how we go get on. I'm going to do the forest first. Uh, I want to try and do a nice, uh, quite, uh, where I've got quite a lot of darkness and light as well. So hopefully I can do a bit in between in the forest, uh, yeah, and then come back to to all this uh, old wooden farmyard bit, and uh, yeah, see how we get on. See here, might not be a light coming down from the darkness. This again, actually. This first stop. Uh, I've got it on aperture 11, uh, 250th second. I'm using the actual light meter on the camera, so hopefully it's, it's good. So if it's any good. <laughs> Ooh, this fallen tree looks quite interesting.
weird because obviously you can't look back at your photos, so I don't know how well they're gonna turn out. Oh no! But uh, I'm trying to play with the, the harsh shadows and the light because I've come in like the middle of the day, as you can see here. See those kind of shadows and light really, really contrasting and extreme. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to capture that in the black and white because I think that'll look quite nice. Uh, so yeah, let's keep going. See if I can use the time and the tripod with this camera. Uh, Let's play around and see. There we go, set it all up. Ready to take a shot here. I think underneath there's a little notch just there. Do you uh, pull that lock? Press the button, it'll make a noise. And then once the time goes down, it'll click. The shutter. There you go. Which uh, should hopefully do the time. Let's see how we get on. Okay, I just took the photo. I think I think it worked. I heard the click. The time I think worked quite well. Okay, got everything, yep. That'll do for inside the forest. Let's go and take some uh, some shots elsewhere. Right, I'm gonna give a uh, a landscape shot a go. I'm gonna see if I can use my ND filters to see if I can make exposed correctly for the foreground and then for the sky use the ND filter just to bring it down so it's not overexposed and uh, I'm going to use this tripod so uh, see how we get on, yeah. Just, uh, just tried taking a landscape photo uh, using an ND filter and without. So as long as I'm doing everything correctly and these develop right, then uh, it'd be interesting to see if it uh, if it helped or not. Uh, I've only been using the light meter on the film camera uh, to gauge if it's exposed correctly or not. I, I suppose I could have used my DSLR to figure out what the best is and then put it into this camera but I like the idea of using the light meter on the camera and I don't know just seeing how it goes really I mean it's it's, it's quite exciting doing all this doing film like because I have no idea how they're gonna look and it's it's all about using your initiative and you know everything I've learned trying to put it together and that and then hope fingers crossed that it uh, it takes a nice photo uh, so yeah, now I'm going to go and try and take some shots of some nice wood and barn buildings and stuff like that, see how I get on with that. I know 
some bees. So I'm going to see if I can get some shots of them. Obviously I've got to be very careful as not to disturb them too much or get stung. But uh, it might be quite cool to, uh, to get some nice black and white shots of that. So yeah, here we go. So, took photos of the bees and yeah, I'm done for around here. I keep messing up, like I keep forgetting to focus it because I'm looking for an optical viewfinder where it doesn't show you if you're focused or not. So on the focus ring it says it's in feet, so you have to guess how many feet away uh, your subject you're photographing is. It has a few little other icons on it. So like, like a little face, portrait mode, if you're taking portraits of people's faces, so make sure it's in the best focus, and landscape as well, so if you're doing big, far away landscape shots, you set it to that. But I keep forgetting to, to check that, so I keep having to take, I'm taking photos, and then I'm going off taking photos of something else, and I'm like, oh no, damn it, I forgot to focus. So I've gone back and took some photos of it again, so I've wasted quite a bit of film, I think. Oh no! But it's all in a. It's all about the learning process, isn't it? And it's going to be really interesting to see how they all turn out as well. Oh no! Uh, but yeah, on to. I'm going to go into my village now and find some nice brick and stuff to photograph. So yeah, um, I go into my village and I took a few more portrait shots, um, which you'll see with the, the rest of the photos at the end here. Uh, overall, um, I really enjoy shooting film, definitely going to be doing some more. Actually, I have done some more, these gets developed, so can't wait to give them a go. Um, I think with the camera, um, well, with the turn out of the photos, they went pretty well. I think that using the light meter, I probably want to overexpose a little bit um, instead of getting spot on the light meter uh, on this. Uh, I want to give that a try and see how that goes and stuff. Um, I gave my lens a clean this time, so there's a few little dirt marks on the photos, little white spots which you can see, um, but yeah, this is part of learning and stuff and uh, if you keep watching my channel and stuff you'll see as I progress uh, through um, learning to shoot film and stuff as I'm, I'm pretty, I would say I'm a self, um, what would you call it, not professional, semi-professional photographer so this vlog's all about, uh, what channel's all about, uh, documenting me. Uh, you know, going through that trying to become a full-time professional photographer so uh, yeah a lot more to come and it's all about learning and stuff and you know it'd be great to know what you think about this vlog give us some comments uh, any questions you want to ask and uh, yeah see you next time